What's up, Modern Status? We've had quite a few people asking us lately how we flavor our kombucha. So today we're gonna make a video and show you how we do it step by step. You ready? Uh-huh. So one of the first things we're gonna need to do is we wanna get our water brewing. We wanna make a second batch of sweet tea. Cause we're gonna need to refill our container once we empty it out. So we do the batch brew of kombucha and what we need to do now to know if it's ready. To know if this is ready for our second fermentation process and flavoring it, we need to taste the kombucha and make sure it's not sweet. That's good. If it's sweet, it means your kombucha needs to keep on brewing. This isn't sweet, ours is ready now, so we can do our second fermentation stage. So we're gonna work on making our sweet tea first. So that way, while that's brewing, we can work on bottling the kombucha. So how many tea bags are you gonna do? You're gonna need two of the Peruvian tea bags, and then you're gonna need 10 of the green tea. Okay. So we're gonna be using, we're gonna be making two gallons worth of sweet tea. This is kind of one of our little hacks of how we make a big batch. It's pretty quick and easy, I'll show you. I'm gonna put these away, you got that under control? Yeah. I'll take the trash. Okay. It might sound like a lot, but we need two cups of organic sugar. The the bacteria is going to eat all this sugar off, so we're not going to be consuming it. This is to feed the bacteria. We do a mixture of black tea and green tea. We find we like this ourselves the best. I'm just going to put those all together. Oops. I'm just gonna fill this up with boiling hot water. Ooh, green, my green tea. Yeah. Then you can add the sugar in all of you. Hold on one second, let me stir it. There, finish adding the rest of it. You could have hopped this, this container out just from pouring it in. Yeah. We're gonna let that steep for 10 minutes. So far, our favorite kombucha that we've made at the house has been blueberry flavored, and what we do is we get so what we do is we get a pure 100% fruit juice. We do a third of a cup per 16 ounce bottle. We're just gonna do a third of a cup in each one.
should have enough blueberry juice to do them all. We've also had people asking us what we use for glass bottles. Unfortunately, we can't find a link for them. All they are is our local kombucha company, which is called Kingdom Kombucha. It's their bottles. We just save them. We actually bought this kombucha because we like the bottles. And then we save our GT bottles also. That way, if you have the expense of buying store-bought kombucha, if you save the bottles, you're getting something else out of them, not just the kombucha. All right, go for it. So we do a continuous brew. Basically what that is, you do a big pot, and you don't empty it out all the way. You try to leave about a third of kombucha in, but then you just add more sweet tea to it, and it takes half the time for your kombucha to brew up and you can start drinking it. You look serious there, you got your tongue out and everything. The mother's getting big in there. Whew, look at that baby. It almost looks like she's growing a layer. We might be able to start a second mother with that one. You know what that means? The sweet tea's all done brewing. Yep, so we'll finish off that bottle and then we'll take care of the sweet tea. tea bags out but we're gonna save the tea bags if you want you can compost them or what we do is we feed them to the animals Oops. you can finish that if you want okay. Ooh. I meant to go down, but then I went up. That's okay. Make sure we clean up after. Then they tell you to store your kombucha in a cool, dry, dark place for two to three days while it does the second fermentation. We keep it in our pantry, but our pantry has a window, so we just put it all in a cardboard box. And we'll let them sit in there for three days. And then after that, you stick it in the fridge, and that stops the fermentation process. When adding the sweet tea, they tell you to add it at room temperature. And I don't like to have to wait. So what I do is I make up my sweet tea in a small batch. This is kind of super concentrated. I'm gonna take half of this and dump it into our one gallon container. I'll add a handful of ice cubes. Then I add water to the rest of the container. We have well water, so it's pretty cold water. And it'll make this cool to touch. It won't be hot anymore. You can check it with a thermometer, make sure it's around 72 degrees. If you have to, you can always add more ice cubes. All right, you wanna open it? Wow. 
how big that scoby is. That thing's huge. What's that? That thing's a monster. Now I'm just gonna mix up my second batch of sweet tea. That one? Yep, I gotta do the same thing with this batch. Sweet tea. We've just found this way or this process works really well for us. Got it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool beans. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any more questions on how to brew your kombucha or do the second stage fermentation process with flavoring it, leave it in the comments down below. This way is the way we found that works the best for us and we really like the kombucha from it. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. We want to thank you for that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern home settings, self-sufficiency, and freedom.